Destroy Lonely, Love Lasts Forever. What an incredibly underwhelming, incredibly forgettable album. I can't sit here now and say that I take one record from this album that I remember, apart from maybe the collab with Ken Carson. There's not one record, not one song on this entire album that I can recite or remember what it was about. It all sounded the same. It all sounded like it was the same tempo, the same amount of energy went into the records. It was completely uninspired, completely unoriginal, and a complete waste of time, really, especially considering the, how long we've been waiting for it to drop and how eagerly we've been anticipating it as being Destroy Lonely fans. But I can't say I'm surprised. And the reason why I can't say I'm surprised, if you follow, if you follow a lot of like opium related pages on social media and shit, if you follow a lot of Destroy Lonely Ken Carson fan accounts and shit, you would have noticed that Destroy Lonely in the last few months and years has been very outside outside to the point where he got into a bit of trouble with an ex-girlfriend that allegedly he was beating and then there was a picture or video of him begging the best friend to not put out the footage it was fucking sussy but he's been outside a lot more he's been traveling he's been doing the damn thing and lately he's been dating one of the claremont twins i think so allegedly he's hanging out with them anyway and i i thought to myself when i saw those pictures i was like oh he's lost the hunger man this new music is not going to be good it's either going to be really amazing because he's out here fucking you know, smashing baddies and, you know, living his dreams and traveling around the world. And he's going to put that into his music. Or, or this is going to be the worst thing we've ever heard because he's hanging around with the Claremont twins doing whippets and coke and just living that rock star life and getting his dick stuck in a fucking club toilets. And unfortunately, that's what this music sounds like. This music sounds like music is not his first priority anymore. Um, it makes good money for him, fair enough, but he's not in the studio slaving over tunes and pouring his heart out on records and putting together melodies and choruses. It's really, really bad. And the really sad thing about it is that out of Destroy Lonely and Ken Carson, I always thought that Destroy Lonely was the way more talented one, but Ken Carson was maybe the more hard, more harder worker, but the tunes just weren't as good. So I was kind of focusing more my attention on Destroy Lonely. But over time... I think I've noticed that Ken Carson takes his artistry way more seriously. Like even just a little thing of him like losing some weight to look better on stage. So he's more mobile and stuff. That just shows me that obviously it's an aesthetic aura type of thing. I get it. But it also shows me that you take your artistry seriously. You're trying to get into shape because you know you've got a whole run of sh shows, live performances, touring that you're going to do. You're going to be doing a lot of media. You want some new pictures out there of you because you've got all those weird pictures of you being a bit chubby and shit and you want to kind of have a new change, a new look out of you and you're presenting yourself to the public. I think that's you taking your artistry seriously. When I see Destroy Lonely out here in clubs at all times with glasses on, with the Claremont twins looking fantastic, I don't think of someone making music. I don't think of someone being locked in. And unfortunately, this album is proof that he's not locked in at all. And the fall off has already begun. And it's sad because he's only 23. And you'd imagine now that he's made the money he's made. He's kind of established. He's an important, integral member of Opium. Most likely, he might have even featured on this up-and-coming, soon-to-be-announced, probably, um, Playboy Carti album from, um, what's his name? Uh, from Playboy Carti called Baby Boy, I think, coming out soon. But I don't think he's as locked in as he should be. And the scary thing about it is that even if he is locked in, let's say, for instance, I'm, I'm, I'm incorrect. Let's say Destroy Lonely is locked in. The scary thing is, this album, according to Destroy Lonely, took more than a year to make. It took more than a year to make this album, and it's fucking garbage. If this is what locked in sounds like, you have to be very worried if you're a Destroy Lonely fan. You have to be very, very worried because this was not good in the slightest, and I'm concerned for the future. Really, I'm concerned for the future for him because it seems like he's fallen enough already. He can't make different songs. They all sound the same. It's incredibly boring and forgettable. I don't remember one song from it. And I just wished, I was hoping that it would finish. And that's not a good sign. Whenever I listen to the album and I keep checking how many songs I've got left, that's not a good sign. That isn't a good sign. And I'm not someone that skips. At least for the first record or for the first listen, sorry. I'll try and listen to it the whole way through. But trying to listen to this the whole way through was absolute torture. So Destroy Lonely, unfortunately, it feels like it's fallen off. And the fall off has been because he's made so much money. He's now fucking loads of baddies, living his best life. But unfortunately, the music is suffering. Unfortunately, the music is suffering.